Hey everyone, Oliver here. I just want to say before this video begins, I want to apologize uh, because um, during the process of recording uh, this video, uh, the camera that records my face, uh, unfortunately, the video file was corrupted and so you will not be able to see my face during this video so i had to make a few uh you know i had to improvise a bit so you know i hope you guys can forgive me but um uh, enjoy the video and make sure you subscribe hello everyone my name is laser jet welcome back to another video uh, welcome back to trade simulator 2021 and today we're doing another race we're doing another country versus country race because i know we did um the british uh steam engine versus the german steam engine versus the american steam engine and I hope you guys are ready for this race because the tension right now is electric. So what we got today, Oliver? Hmm, what have we got? Oh, <laughs> look at this! It's, it's like a uh, like a great race, isn't it? I'm very excited. So in today's race, we've got. Two different kind of electric trains uh, representing their countries, um, except uh, for one country, because I believe this is probably one of the only high-speed trains that I know of that actually run in that country. But representing Great Britain, we have the Class 801 or 801 and the Class 390 Pendolino. And the reason why we've got two different kind of electric trains is because I want to see if one of them is faster than the other one, but still in the same country. Does that make sense? I mean, I hope you, um, and plus, you know, it makes the race more fun because more trains, the better. And representing France, you guys guessed it, it's the TGVs. To be honest, I haven't got much to say about the TGVs except they're high-speed electric trains uh, in France. But the thing is, I don't know nothing about uh, TGV history, so I feel quite embarrassed to say that we've got some high-speed trains. But I don't know their history. That's pretty embarrassing, Oliver. I should really look things up on Wikipedia before I start recording a video. Representing Germany, we have the ICE-3 and the ICE-2. But what ICE stands for, it stands for Intercity Express, I believe. That's, I, th I think that's what they stand for. But I like giving trains nicknames. I call these the ice trains because one, they look like a block of ice. And second of all, they're basically the same colour, aren't they? I think that's a good example. And representing the United States of America, we have the Amtrak Acela Express. Now, I did say at the beginning of this video that, um, that I think this is the only high-speed uh, American train that runs uh, in America at the moment. Um, I, I, I did try looking a few up, but like America don't really have much high-speed trains uh, like the... Um, like, well, like, like the TGVs or the, you know, Class 801 or the 390. Like, I think the Stella Express is the only, it's the only thing they've got. So, America is a bit left out. America's got, got one chance, but, the, but, like, France, Germany, and Great Britain, they've got, like, double the chances of winning. But, like, the America only has, like, you know, the, the one chance. So, we're going to have to hope that the Stella Express does well. So, my friends, this is it. A big, big race. Really nervous, but super excited. So, we're going to go to the world editor, and we are going to program all of these trains. I think we should program them to do 120% power. Now, because I've got quite a lot of trains here today, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip through the programming bit because that will just take way too long because you guys just want to see the race happening. You don't, you don't, you guys don't really want to see me programming, do you? And you've, you've seen it all before. And the fact is, it is going to take quite a long time for me to actually program all these trains. So let's let's just skip the programming. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn the bell notification on as well, so you stay notified to the channel. There we go, my friends, programming done. Uh, it has taken a little bit of a while, but, um, you know, no challenge is too big or too small for me. And as always, I'm going to be driving the Super Class 47, and it's going to be needed because um, these are high-speed trains, so I'm going to need all the speed and power... Uh, that I can get to try and catch up with these bad boys. Um, really excited. So which uh, train do you think is going to win? Leave your answer in the comment section below. Who do you think is going to win? Is it going to be the Class 801 or the Class 801? The Class 390 Pendolino? Uh, or the TGVs? 
uh, or the um, ICE uh, 2 or 3, or the ICE trains I like to call them, or the Amtrak Acela Express. Which one is going to win? Uh, and to be honest, I have to say that for some people, I might actually pronounce Acela Express wrong. Just, just, just so you are aware. Uh, we're going to click the play button. So... Are we ready for the race? Because I know I am. Let's click the button. Uh, click. Are you sure you want to save? Yes. Let the race begin. After the loading screen is, is, is gone. And away they go. The race has begun. And the Acela Express has accelerated at tremendous speed. Look at that thing go. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, the TGVs are starting off a bit slow. Uh, I need to catch up to the, uh, to the Acela Express. Cause look at all these trains go. Right now, the Americans are in the lead right now, followed by the Class 801, and followed by the uh, Class 390, and then the ICE uh, 3. Uh, both TGVs are very slow, and the ICE uh, 2 is very slow. But look at this! Look at the Acela Express! That's all the way up, up ahead! Look at that thing go! I'm going to have to catch up! Sorry, uh, Class 801. Um, you, I have to leave you behind. Goodbye! But look at these trains go! Look at the high-speed trains! But the thing is, the, G the TGVs are very slow behind. They're very slow starters. Oh my god, I can't catch up to the Acela Express! I can't cut- I can't catch up! I can't even speak either! I've got a- Get, 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 get some speed on, uh, Superclass 47. Um, oh, look, they, these guys are picking up some speed now. Enter the corner. Where is their Stellar Express? I can see it. Am I catching up? Let's have a look. Yes, I'm catching up ever so slightly. This thing's got some serious speed, and it takes off really, really fast. So let's apply the brakes just a little bit. How fast are we going? We're going about over 175 miles per hour. I don't know where the other trains are. I can't actually see them just yet. I think they're out of vision. Uh, let's have a look. Oh uh, my goodness, look at this! Look at this! I see both TGVs, and both TGVs are in sync right now. Let's see if we can try to get like two, like an epic shots of uh, the TGVs. Look at this. Oh, they're going very slow, aren't they? Um, but look at that. The Acela Express is in the lead by miles. Oh, look at this poor one. Uh, the ICE2. That's that's not very good. That's not going very well. What about? Um, oh, look. The Class um, 390 has overtaken the uh, Class 801. And followed after the 801, I can't speak, is the ICE3. Th uh, but we're moving way too fast for them to catch up. I cannot see them. But look at them in the distance. I think the Americans have got this in the bag. I think the Acela Express is the winner. We're going to enter the next corner. Go listen to the sound of these things screeching on the ra the wheels screeching on the rails. I'm gonna try and like get some uh, some epic shot. I mean, look at the speed of this thing when it goes around a corner. Now that is some tremendous speed. Where is the other trains? I can't see them. I see the uh, class um, 300. No, 390. Sorry. Uh, I'm, 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 it is a lot of numbers I have to remain. But look at the way this thing just leans into that corner. Oh no! Hold on. I've just noticed something. Is the pass? Why is the driver underneath the train of the class 390? Look, if I like, <coughs> I'll just pause the race for just a second because I've just noticed something. Why is the driver of the class 390 underneath the train? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna apply my brakes just a little bit. There we go, because I believe the Acela Express is slowing down. But look at the 390 in the distance, that's catching up. So Acela Express is in the lead at the moment, followed by the Class 390, that's catching up at some speed. Uh, the Class 801 is coming up, followed by the ICE 3, which is actually gonna overtake um, the, uh, the 801. Oh, look at this. It's going to be a close finish yet again. It's Britain versus America once again at a close finish. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's going to be such a close race. But remember, my friends, the first train to stop at the finish line is the winner. What about the Germans? Is the Germans catching up? Oh, wow. Look in the distance. You can actually see that the ICE3 has overtaken the Class 801. So maybe the Germans are in for a shout. Right, so we're going to apply the brakes and leave the Super Class 47... Uh, there for now. So who's gonna win this race my friends? Or oh, it's close. The Acela Express may have had had a brilliant brilliant start But the class 390 might actually be the winner of this race And it's also very close between the IC E3 and the class 801. I've got a lot of n numbers and names to remember. So who's gonna stop first? Is it the American or the British? 
Who's going to stop first? It's the British! Followed by the Americans in second place with the Acela Express. And followed in third place is the Germans with the ICE-3. Or the ice train, I like to call it. There we go. Beautiful. And in fourth place is the class 801 or the 801. Uh, second place. Oh, this is amazing. This is this has been a, such a good race. In stone dead last, it's the ICE 2. And uh, obviously, the French did not do so well, unfortunately. But look at this. We have two TGVs that are perfectly in sync right now. I've never. That is incredible. I've never seen. Two two different uh, trains racing each other and going the exact same speed. Look at this. Now that's new, isn't it? Would it be the first time ever that two different kind of TGVs are tied together? So who's going to stop first? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what these TGVs are called. Okay, who's going to stop first? Who's going to stop first? Oh my god, I think it's a tie. It is a tie. Both TGV stopped exactly the same time. I don't know what you guys think, but what I'm seeing, I think both TGV stopped at exactly the same time. If you guys disagree, then leave your answer. The, well, leave what you have to say in the comment section below. So the French are out. They came second to last, but in last place is the um, ICE 2. But. Uh, in third place was the ICE 3. Second place, the Acela Express. Uh, fourth place is the class uh, 801. And in first place is the class 390 Pendolino. Which I was kind of hoping for it to win, to be honest, because this, this is my favourite uh, electric train in the world. My favourite. But there we have it. All seven electric trains at the end of the line. This was a really good race. I don't know what you guys think, but this was a maybe a quick one, but it certainly was a fun one. But that concludes our video for today, my friends. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click the subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Twitch. All the links are in the description below. And if you guys want to subscribe to my second channel, link to that is in the description below as well. Thank you again so much for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. things sort of